Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Becca and today I'm doing my January 2017 favorites, or as I'm gonna be calling them, the yes and the hard pass. All right, so let's get started with uh, something skincare related. So before we get started, uh, just I decided I was just gonna film this. I have something going on with my eye, if you can tell it's a little swollen, so I didn't wanna put makeup on and irritate it, or I'm not entirely sure what's bothering it. So it was that or not film, and it's already February 5th, so I figured I should just come up here and do it. And, and this is the Pure Sonic Facial Steamer. I got it on Overstock, but I it's also on Amazon. Um, I saw people raving about the Dr. Dennis Gross steamer, and that one is like, it's like around 150, and this is about 50. And so I went for this one, and I really like it. Um, I use it for like 10, 15 minutes, and it steams my face, and Fred likes to stick his face in there too, and have a steam. Also something I signed up for this month is called Hair Tie Society, and it's a subscription box. Um, it's like between one and three dollars a month, depending on what you get in your subscription. And it's basically hair ties and bobby pins, because as you know, we always lose, break, whatever, those things. And so this just gives you kind of enough for the month, so you're not constantly having to go out and get them. All right, my next favorite is the Tresemme Beautiful Volume Reverse System. And this I saw, I believe on Ingrid's channel. Uh, it's a, so basically you condition first and then you shampoo and it gives you a lot of volume. And I've heard people, about people doing this uh, and that it works. I have really fine and flat, greasy, sad hair. So I'm always looking for something and the fact that this is drugstore is really great. I've been enjoying it, I've been seeing a difference and I don't feel like it's drying out my hair, so big fan. And last in the hair care, skin care kind of realm, I talked about this in my recent haul video, but it is the Detox uh, Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar. I'm obsessed. I've never met a dry shampoo that actually makes me feel like I could go, like takes me to three day hair. Normally it's like shower, day of dry shampoo and all I can do is put it in the sad greasy ponytail and that's all I get. This I get two days before I have to put it in the sad greasy ponytail, which is a big deal. So I highly recommend, especially if you have thin sad hair like me. Now I've been using these for about a month and a half and I'm obsessed. They are KL polish nail polishes. Kathleen Lights here on YouTube started a nail brand and I am obsessed. So the color on my nails currently is called Zoe. And then I also have one, uh, broccoli and chocolate, which is this really pretty deep brown. And then brick sidewalk, which is like a pretty rust orange red color. And they have two more permanent colors. Uh, it's a blue and then a like a mustard color that I really want the mustard color. It's called Carmelo, but it's sold out right now. Uh, and then she plans on launching, you know, different collections. I know she has a birthday special edition nail polish coming up. Hi, Fred. And so I'm a big fan. They're $8.50. Um, I'm terrible at painting my nails. Uh, like absolutely terrible. But these last me like a week and the only chips I get is from me picking at them, which is not the nail polish's fault. That's my fault. So I'm a big fan and plan on picking up more. It's the first, they're just, they're the best nail polish I have. And they have the really like thick brush or wide brush, I guess. So it actually covers the whole nail in like one swipe, which I really appreciate because really terrible at painting my nails. So it helps someone who's not successful in that arena like me. And speaking of Kathleen Lights again, uh, my next favorite is her Morphe palette. Uh, this has been out for a little bit. I got it in the first round, which sold out like immediately, but she, they did a restock 
and it's back on the Morphe website. So they are limited edition and they are allegedly not going to restock it again. So I highly suggest if you want it, get it on there. It just has some really, really gorgeous shades and it's pretty compact so you could bring it to travel and you know, you get like your pop of kind of wackiness color here, but it just gives you a lot to do with, you know, a nice, some like nice day to day looks that you can make more dramatic or more, you know, daytime appropriate. But I'm obsessed with this green. Like, look at that. Stop it. Like, stop. That's gorgeous. So, highly recommend it. I believe it's $15. And pretty much any YouTuber that's not me has um, a Morphe code, and you can get, I think it's 10% off. So, just, you know, pop in their codes. Kathleen is Kathleen. I think it's just Kathleen Lights. So, do that. But they basically all have one. So, if I usually respect my favorite YouTuber, who's Kathleen, and use their codes. All right, next up, I shared this on my Instagram, but it is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And this bad boy is like $3, and it doesn't look like much in the pan, but it is seriously the most natural looking, gorgeous highlight I've just ever seen, ever. And I'll swatch it, but it's really one of those that you have to put on your face. So, you can kind of see the sheen there, but me being white makes that kind of hard. <laughs> but, anyways, they now sell Essence at Target, they also have it at Ulta, and Fred's getting dangerously close to my lights. Please, these are new, don't knock them down. And, anyways, they have these, at, this, they have this at Target and Ulta, and it's crazy cheap. And it's just a really nice natural looking highlighter. So if you're not into like highlighters that can be seen from space, which I also love, but I also work in a courtroom. And as much as I like to be full glam all the time, that's kind of hard when, you know, playing the lawyer games. So I highly recommend it. And again, it's crazy cheap. And so my last favorite I have on my lips over uh, NYX lip liner, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Butterscotch. And I got this as a sample um, when I bought some Anastasia products at Macy's uh, earlier in the month, and I'm not a lip gloss fan, like, at all. But it's not sticky, it's got really great pigmentation, and it's comfortable. I don't feel like I'm constantly needing to reapply it. I uh, I mean, I just put it on, but last time I wore it, I think I had it on for about three or four hours before I felt the need to reapply, and I drink a lot of water and coffee during the day, so that's saying a lot. But I just think that the pigmentation is really great. Um, if you want a clear lip gloss, this is not going to be for you. It's definitely not sheer, uh, and you only need a little bit, but I like that it's, it's really windy. So... I don't want something that's sticky because I don't want my hair getting in it and, you know, whatever's in the wind getting in my lip gloss. So I'm a big fan. Uh, this is just a sample size, but I plan on eventually purchasing the full size and maybe trying some other colors as well. And so on to some just kind of random favorites. One is a sweet hat that I would have faced in the right way, but it would block my face. But it has a cat on it and it says Unimpressed Club and it speaks to me on a very spiritual level. I got it for over 21 and it's amazing. I'm just gonna leave it this way. And then also my friend Emily got me these sweet leggings for Christmas and they're from LuLaRoe and if you have any LuLaRoe girls I'm gonna show you. Ooh, there's cats on them! Was that awkward? I don't care. But they're amazing. They're dark purple and they have cats on them. And LuLaRoe leggings are so comfortable. Like I just started out getting black ones and now I get patterned ones and just kind of wear them all the time. I'm basically in a suit or in leggings or sweatpants. I have zero, zero in between. It's uh, like business or like nap time, no others. And so 
I also have a book favorite I wanted to shout out. Um, it's Anna Kendrick's book. It's called Scrappy Little Nobody. I've been listening to it on audiobook. She's the narrator. And it's really funny. If you are have a theater background like I do, you'll kind of just really, or you're awkward and neurotic like I am, she'll speak to your soul. And I highly recommend it. It's just funny. And I like listening to it while I'm getting ready. Fred is attacking something, so that's what you hear. Now I have just one hard pass this month, and it's actually sold out, so you don't won't get suckered into buying it, but this is more of a warning for next year. And it is the Too Faced Chris, uh, Christmas in New York Chocolate Chop Palette, and this was the Sephora exclusive. Now it smells delicious like Too Faced products do, because it's infused with chocolate. Um, you could see I was trying to depot the chocolate Sole bronzer and just got a bunch of holes in it because I'm not a successful adult. Um, it came with a deluxe better than sex mascara, a shadow deluxe shadow insurance, and a melted chocolate lipstick. Both, all three of those I like. And the palette has some good colors in it, but others are fairly patchy. I really like this sugar raisin, but it's basically glitter. So, it's really pretty, but it's definitely not, like, amazing. But a lot of the, like, matte shades just kind of, like, they don't even show up. I just tried to swatch it and, like, like, that should be something. And so I just feel that they, this was kind of a waste of money because, not even kind of, it was a total waste of money. Um, but this is kind of just my warning for the future on these, I love Too Faced eyeshadows in general, but as far as these limited edition holiday palettes, from a lot of the reviews I saw, they tend to not be as good. So don't spend your money on those. Spend them on things like the chocolate bar or the sweet beach or things like that. So yeah. All right, those were all my yeses and hard passes for this month. So I hope you enjoyed. Please comment below and tell me if you've tried any of these things or, or what your yeses and hard passes were for January of 2017. And until next time, please hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you in my next video. All right, bye.